Uh, today I got to ride the restored 2009 Ninja up in the Denville area and where there are some really nice back roads. And in that area, there are several parks, several golf courses. And the main thing is there are several really nice twisty roads that are just absolutely beautiful. And all of a sudden you're riding down a road and it's nothing but twists and turns, elevation changes. Roads are usually pretty clear. And you can see from this little short example, just some of the things. Yeah, there's still some wet spots on the road from the rain we had the night before, but it's just a very, very comfortable, sweet place to ride. Another super hot day is upon us, and today <laughs> I'm going to try to get everything done on the farm, get everything done to maintenance around here, because I want to get out on the open road before it gets too hot. In the last, oh my God, month, we've had a lot of hot days. Today promises to be one of them, supposed to be over 90 degrees at some point in the day. When it's over 90 degrees, I would much rather be in air conditioning than out sitting in front of a hairdryer on a motorcycle. Now I have a lot of time restrictions I have to work around. I only have small gaps of time to go riding and I like to maximize the, that time. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to go out on a ride and stop for donuts and stop for coffee and hot dogs and my, I, I have a very specific way I like to ride. I like to leave the house. I like to ride until I'm either out of gas or have to stop for a red light or stop and take pictures if we see uh, something we can't live without. But I know people that have a much bigger window of time so they can, they can sit and pick and choose and enjoy it like having a gourmet meal. I have to eat a hamburger and go. I want to get out on the open road, try to get back in, in the most four hours, mostly three hours, and get as close to 100 miles as I can in that time. And I'm usually pretty good at doing that. I hope today's going to be one of those days. Okay, guys, don't take my fingers off. Oh, yes, flash. Come on. Be a gentleman at the rest. Here in a bug season, I think it's really important to keep the bike bug as bug free as possible. There's times I've cleaned it before a ride and after. Don't like having a dirty bike. And Karen always likes uh, the fact that I do all my yard work in the morning when it's nice and cool and try to get out on the open road. I love this Greenworks trimmer. What a great tool this is. And it's got the little chainsaw attachment. This, this is just a great, a great tool and I use it a lot. One final check out of weather and we'll be on the open road. Should be good today. Alright, time to get some exercise. Here's my new gym membership. Just joined the Ninja Gym. And it works. It has just turned out to be a beautiful day after all. Just beautiful. I'm very lucky in the fact that most of these areas that I go to are only about 30 miles from my house. So it's real easy for me to get a, a little bit of a highway ride, about 25 or 30 miles before the roads turn into what I think is just one of the nicest areas in the country around Denver.
Washington is such a nice variety of ponds and lakes and parks and this this places every time I'm on a ride and I find a couple new back roads to go down I'm amazed how many nice things are that close to my house Yeah, it looks like the sun is actually coming in. Well, the sun has been in and out all day. Well, no matter where you ride up here, there's just one beautiful garden, one beautiful landscape after another. Just a beautiful area. Nice twisty roads, not a lot of traffic. Actually today, not a lot of sun in your eyes. You don't even need sunglasses today. Listen, those birds chirp. There's some beautiful stone work there. I love looking at some of these landscaping jobs. I just wish I could get somebody to do it for me. <laughs> and pay for it. The paying for it is the hard part. And I say it over and over again. I When I'm riding this bike, I don't think one minute about that 500 hour restoration that took a whole winter of my life. It was worth it. I think the bike is just unique enough to be uh, what suits my tastes and it seems like there are some other people that have made nice comments and but it's all in the eye of the beholder. Good place to stop here, Cook's Lake in Denville. Nobody's here. Wow. And it's really hot but I bet they wait later in the day. This is really a nice place to stop, take a five minute break. Beautiful, beautiful day, baby, beautiful day. Good day to be a ninja. And no matter what roads I ride this bike on, I like it more every time I ride it. It is just a comfortable, good all-around motorcycle. I thought there'd be more people swimming. This is up by Cook's Lake or Cook's Pond. And I... I thought the place would be packed. It was so hot today. There was nobody there. And what 
makes this bike a little bit special. It's an all-weather fighter. You go out when it's freezing cold and that windshield tends to keep you warm. And on a day like today, there's still plenty of air circulation around. It's just a good all-around bike. Well, the clouds are going in and out, in and out, but there's no rain. They didn't predict rain, but I never trust the weatherman, never. And I always like to have a bike that's just unique enough that when people uh, that know about motorcycles look at it, they think, oh, what year is that? Uh, when did the factory make that? Or who made that? You know, I, it's kind of cool to have a bike like that. Now, all the time I spent about 500 hours restoring this bike, every time I ride it, I think, worth every minute, every minute. I think all the, all the roads up in this area, and we're, we're coming up on a Denville area again, we go back and forth over the same road one way and then back, but the, the roads are all so nice. It's just a great place to ride. Well, after three hours on the open road, it's time to get home and see if Karen's got that iced coffee cooking. <laughs> I'm ready. This was an exhausting day, a very exhausting day. I'm ready. ready. Boy, did it get hot toward the end of this day. Oh, I got home just in time before I cooked to a medium well. <laughs> it's humid. You want to sit on a porch or you want to eat out here or what do you want to do? Yeah, Karen's right. We got some a second bloom of wisteria coming here. Wow. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. I want to thank the healthcare workers <laughs> and Karen's garden. Wow. I've never seen it any better. Again, hope you did enjoy the video. And this really turned out to be a great day. I, as I look back over the day, see, while I'm editing this down, I'm looking back over the day and the pictures and some of the things and thinking this really was a good day. It, with, I'm getting used to dealing with the heat. I, I don't know how that is because as I've gotten older, I get more, I don't want to ride when it's super, super cold. I don't want to ride when it's super, super hot. And then I look around and all my friends are in the same boat I am. So, well, maybe we are. Maybe we're all growing old together. That's, that's the point of uh, my channel too, is we're sharing the life that we all seem to enjoy. Working on the motorcycles, going on these rides, hanging out with our friends, doing some custom work, make your bike unique, and polishing some parts up. Again, everybody has a different taste in motorcycles. That's one of the things that makes it attractive to me as a nice sport or a nice hobby. You don't have everybody striving for the same thing. And at that, uh, we just had the, uh, the Ruts Hut, that bike night. I saw some things that I was really impressed with that I don't have uh, any way to describe. How many people were at that, <laughs> that meetup was unbelievable. Only a couple of days ago, two a week ago. But anyway, we're getting ready for our 
starting to dream up new projects for this upcoming winter. And I'm sure we'll come up with something. We're going to share it with you on video. If you're enjoying the videos, great. And if you're not, I'm sure your phone or your TV has a delete button. I enjoy editing them. And thanks so much for watching.